So I've been thinking about catchphrases. I think that'll be the next progression of me taking this to the next level. I don't think I think every great like TV show, every great uh, YouTuber has a catchphrase. I need a catchphrase so I catch on. You know what I'm saying? I've been thinking about some other stuff. You know, like that's a spicy meatball or or chicken. Who got the chicken? Something like that. You know, I need something that's catchy that'll make the people come like, oh, there you come with the catchphrase. That's popping. Some 80s sitcom type stuff, you know? <laughs> Welcome to Trill Theater with your host, B Shack, aka. Damn. And today, on tap, we have chips. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with the show. I'm a, I'm an 80s baby. May not look it. But I am. Um, and I'm not too familiar with chips. Even though it started, the TV show itself started in the late 70s. Ended in the early 80s. Um... I probably watched a lot of TV shows from the 70s and the 80s growing up, especially, you know, they used to play all those TV shows during the early day. So, but I'm not that big on chips. I never was. I don't know what it was about it. But, I, I don't know. I'm kind of like interested in seeing the trailer for this, and I hope you guys are too. Hence, I'm doing it. Uh, but, I don't know. It just, I've, I don't have too much knowledge about it. I know what what it took place. I know kind of a synopsis of the show that it was about some motor, motorcycle cops, and it was a, a cop drama with humor. Um, I've seen a few episodes here or there. I guess bored TV watching it, but never was I that big on it. So I'm going into this with kind of like little to no knowledge. I mean, I know I know my guy Eric Estrada, 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 one of those two. I know he's the biggest thing that came out of there uh larry wilcox also played his partner so i mean i know them two names but i don't really know anything else but without further ado let's get into the trailer uh as always we'll watch dissect discuss and as and also as always the link in the, <laughs> the link to the full trailer will be down in the description down below you know by the subscribe subscribe button i don't know why i can't get the, i'm mush mouth today i'm mush mouth uh but it'll be by the subscribe button you know, if you want to hit that, you seen this video on accident, you came to it, you might want to hit that subscribe button. I do this all the time. I got the, the, uh, I do the, the skits. I do the, uh, the movie reviews. I do the trailer reviews. Anything y'all want to see me do, I try to do it. You know, I'm just out here doing what I can do, baby, for y'all. So, uh, let's get to the trailer. Join me, will you? We're the California Highway Patrol. This job is crucial. Without us out there, come on, what the No one can get hurt! California Highway Patrol think they have some crooked cops. We want you to go on the inside. Go in the cover within the department? That's awesome. We put you with a rookie named John Baker. So who am I playing? Francis Llewellyn Poncharello. Are the first two female names? <laughs> John, I like you. You remind me of my husband. He is really handsome. You've had 23 surgeries. If you can ride a motorcycle, I'll give you that. Yes, ma'am. Like a mother. No. <clears throat> What's up? I'm John. Pontrello. Awesome, man. We're partners. Let's kick this off with the real what? thing. Oh, dude. If you're homophobic or whatever, that's cool. No, 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 no. You think I'm homophobic? John Baker? Baker? Oh, oh. CHP. Pretty badass. Being all suited up for battle. What, looking like UPS drivers? Super cool. Go brown, right? This job is my one shot at saving my marriage. What are you wearing? My uniform. It's like you're three beers too intimate. I'm a tough motorcycle cop. I got no emotion. What's your job? Find the dirty cops. Check it. You're FBI. Yep. Hey, we need to focus. Are you kidding me right now? I'm just like kind of powerless when it comes to yoga pants, you know? Let's get you out of this parking lot. You have a visible erection. You think you can ride with that? I don't know. We don't know who in this department is in on this. We're like Jay-Z and Beyonce. We are ride or die. I'm Jay-Z. We're in pursuit. What's your 20? I'm northbound. Punch is southbound. Keep it. I understand. 
You screw up this case. You're fired. You got a legitimate lead. Oh, we have a suspect's head. That's a victory. Nasty. I was trying just to... damn nasty. I need to get into some warm water. I'm not going to carry you there. I saved your life oh yesterday. Oh, my God. I knew you were going to bring it up. Grab me and get it over Fine. with. Fine. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You face plant in my... No, 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 no. There was no contact. I could have swore I felt either your nose or your lips. Nope. It might have been like a, a, little, like a little bit of contact. <laughs> I'm not one of the people who dislike Hollywood remake and everything. Sometimes Hollywood remakes things and they actually turn out pretty well. Um, I don't know about... I feel like always with cop movies or buddy cop movies, you always have to have a straight man and a com uh, the, 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 the comedy relief or the... I forget what they were called, the secondary person, which is, I guess, comedy relief. Um, it's weird that in this situation, both are the comedy relief. It's also weird that Michael Pena is constantly getting rolled i feel like he's constantly getting rolled as cops and he's always getting like i don't think he's been typecast as it because his last role i've seen him in was in um don't tell me collateral beauty when he was excellent in that i thought his role was one of the standout roles in that movie uh but i feel like other roles he's been a lot of cops in a lot of movies are somewhere with police police enforcement which is i guess a good place to be i don't know <laughs> i guess they always need hispanic cops and they need a hispanic role so he just fits that typecast so i mean good luck good to him but it's weird that he is like i feel like he's always in that sort of that role they found him hollywood has him typecast as a officer of somewhat um but with the movie i think it looks it looks funny-ish um play on some stereotypical jokes you know the uh un uncomfortability that sometimes that non-minorities have with being nude in locker rooms it's uh it's something I've dealt with. Uh, no, I do not want to shake your hand or give you a bro hug while you're still in underwear. I mean, I don't want to do that while you're shirtless at all, but, and it's not, it's just, I don't like to bump penises, bro. I'm sorry. That's just not me. I don't, I don't like to do that. I try to keep my, my penis bumping to the minimum of life. So, uh, but I thought that was funny. Uh, I also thought it was funny when he, he accidentally put his mouth on his, his private area too. I, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to live that life anymore. Uh, but <laughs> I thought that was funny. It looks funny-ish. I don't know how much funny it will be. I think it's a lot more funny than a TV show. Attendedly, originally was. Uh, that's why I said I don't understand. Like usually with the buddy cop situation, you always see the guy who's the straight guy and then the comedic guy. He's usually either comedy slapstick or he's unintentionally funny, and it plays off because you need a straight man. That's just the way the the dynamic comedy duo always usually works so this kind of dynamic where they're both comedic is it'll be weird to see i'm i'm, I'm kind of interested in it because i do like Dak shepherd um he's not been on a lot of things i know he's actually married to uh buffy is that was that buffy that was playing his wife that he was trying to win over was that buffy no what is her name I'm, I'm like I said, I'm, I'm mush brain today. Usually I can get these really quickly. No, that's uh, he's married to that was I think that was Veronica Mars or Kristen Bell uh, that he was trying to win back in that movie as well. So I like that's interesting that they actually have his real life wife in there. Um, but um, I don't know. I wouldn't say like I'm like eager to see it. Um, I am interested in seeing the comedic dynamic of it. Again, I feel like that's another one of those movies that I'd watch on a humbug if somebody else invited me to see it or if I had free tickets, then I might go. But I'm not like in a rush to see a Chips remake because, again, I'm not I wasn't I didn't grow up on it. I don't know how many people if you grew up on the show, are you interested in it? That's something to leave down in the comments if you have. What do you guys think? Do you, are you interested in the, the Chips remake? Uh, did the did the trailer do anything for you comedically or comedy? Humorously, <laughs> did, it, did the uh, trailer uh, make you laugh? Did you find it entertaining or intrigue you to see an action movie yourself? Did you grow up watching Chips and you want to be interested in this remake? Uh, leave your comments down below. As always, I'm always here to feedback and give some, uh, have a good conversation if you want to. And as always, you can always hit me up on any of my social media. It's Damn Look at Him across the board. That's Snapchat, IG, Twitter, Damn Look at Him. Facebook is Damn Look at Him TV. Anything else you want to search me on, probably on there with Damn Look at Him as well. So.
except for uh, LinkedIn. I don't, I don't think I, I would have my name as Dan Bill on there. But uh, as always, man, it's been a pleasure. And be easy. Peace. I see you at the movies. <laughs>